Hey, what is going on, fam clan? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Most importantly, happy Fusion Strike release day. It is hard to believe that we are saying happy release day for yet another Pokemon product. We've had so many different releases this year. It's been absolutely crazy with the extra special sets from Celebrations and Shining Fates combined with all of the main series sets that we've had. Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, and now uh, Fusion Strike. It just seems like every single month there's something else that's coming out, especially with the delay uh, in Battle Styles that pushed back Chilling Rain, that pushed back kind of evolving skies a couple weeks and then all of a sudden celebrations and then all of a sudden fusion strike and it's just absolutely insane but we will get a little bit of a break with plenty of product it seems that are out there i got word today that more celebrations product are making their way out evolving skies the third wave is starting to make its way out so it seems like as far as the holiday season goes it's going to be very very plentiful when it comes to pokemon product which is very very exciting um means that hopefully you'll be able to find some stores for the first time in quite a while uh which is which is great news for a lot of people who are looking to find product and we don't have a set release now until february which looks amazing with brilliant stars uh we are going to do some really fun stuff today we're going to be opening up an entire case of building battle boxes from fusion strike i'm very very excited to open this up i do actually like fusion strike there's a lot of artworks in here that i do enjoy Joy. There's some meta changing cards or some cards that'll be good in the meta that I am actually excited about with competitive play kind of starting back up again in 2022 from like an LGS standpoint sanctioned events things like that regionals being announced it's going to be a lot of fun so stick with us it's going to be a lot of fun next year but before we jump into the video we do have a giveaway that we need to announce and the winner of week number five Week number five, right? Yeah, week number five. We're giving away a Celebrations 25th Anniversary Collector's Chest. I officially have these in stock now. I hope to get them up on the website very, very soon. Uh, but the winner is Daddy Snorlax and the Poke Kid. Um, I don't make up these names. Daddy Snorlax, the Poke Kid. congratulations. You are the winners of a 25th Anniversary Collector's Chest. I have pinned your comment. All you need to do is just email me, um, message me on Twitter. My uh, handle is Danny underscore underscore O, or you can find me on Instagram. Shoot me a message on Instagram, Danny.Phantump. Uh, if you don't follow me currently, definitely give me a follow. Let me know your address, and I'll get your collector's chest out and on its way to you. Guys, we are now going to start week number six, seven, six. Six. Yes, six. I've got this all planned out in my head. It's not going very well, apparently, when I'm recording a video. But we're starting week number six, and we're going to be giving away the Pikachu V Union box and the Dragapult pin collection. So those two products we have not given away yet. Those two are going to be bundled together. I'm sure you can guess what week number seven is going to be, and then really big for week number eight. Uh, but in order to enter to win, all you have to do is leave a like on this video here, comment down below, and then make sure you are subscribed to the channel so i will choose a winner next week friday in next week friday's video we'll be giving away the pikachu v union box and the dragapult pin collection uh to one lucky winner so just make sure you subscribe and then leave a comment and a like on this video here and bada bing bada boom you are entered with that being said let's jump right into fusion strike very very excited to get into it i'm going to go ahead and open this up if you've never opened up a build and battle box before it is completely completely um, random. <laughs> I mean, there's no good way to say it. I've opened up cases before that have been great. I've opened up cases before that have been absolutely terrible. Uh, I'm going to put these on the ground because I haven't given myself a whole lot of space here. So we're just going to pull one at a time. I'm going to flip you guys around and then we're going to get right into it. If you have never been to a pre-release before, now that events are starting back up, this is kind of what it looks like. And these are actually changing uh, a little bit now uh, from word I have heard uh, I think Poke Beach released an article recently, but the card uh, selection that comes in here right now, it's like a 20 card pre-constructed deck. Um, not really a deck, but there's just 20 cards in here. And I'm gonna show those off right here, along with a promo card. In Fusion Strike, it is Oracorio Latias, and then Pukamuku, 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 and I can't remember the other one, but we'll pull it eventually. Um, so you get the, the Oracorio promo, and then you get like 20 cards, 22 cards, something like that. Uh, it's going to change to 40 cards. And then you get this cool little, I mean, people use this as a deck box. I like to use it just to, for people who order a lot of singles. Uh, and then you get four packs. So you get four different packs to open up and you build, uh, you build a deck. You build a 40 card pre-release deck. You play with four prizes and you battle it out as events start 
back up. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to go through these fairly quick because there are 10 of these in an entire case. MSRP on a build and battle box is 20 bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, we've got Galarian Zigzagoon, Mankey, Clauncher, Growlithe, Stuffle, Clamperl, and Evital. Nothing great there. Sydney Cross Stitcher. There's a lot of cool trainers in this set. There's some cool cards in this set that might help out the meta a little bit. Like I said before, it's always fun when there's a new set comes out and you're just kind of learning as you go um, what what is going to make an impact. And there's so much in this set. Just a Gudra. There's so much in this set with 284 cards. And that's why I was thinking. I said, why weird? Why? That's why I was thinking that maybe as a channel, as a community, um, with me <laughs> donating all of the cards, I think we should really tr strive to open up a master set uh, and then give it away to one of you guys. I know Fusion Strike isn't like the biggest set for a lot of people. There's been some people who are kind of excited about it, and there's some alternate arts in here that are super cool. We're just striking out, but that's okay because I'm just talking anyways. Um, but it would be kind of fun just to kind of build a master set for you guys and then just give it away. Starmie is our only hit if you want to call our hollow rare a hit in that build and battle box. That's it. I gotta figure out what the other promo is in here. Hopefully we'll pull the other one. Oh, I just dropped my case. Amateur hour over here. Um, yeah, hopefully we pull it. Latias, Pukamuku, Oracorio, and I... Ugh. It's like it's bothering me because I've already opened up a case of this and I can't remember what it is. But it's... Latias. Okay, so we got Latias. Uh, Latias is probably the most competitive of the pre-release promos, I think. All right, I fixed my case. We're moving on. Moving on to pack number five. In a build and battle case, you should get probably about 10 hits. You usually figure you're going to get one hit uh, per build and battle box. We messed that up in box number one already. I have opened up... Uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> that was cool. Alessa's Sparkle Rainbow Rare. I was not expecting that right away. Holy cow. Skaters Park, Frostmoth, and the code card. Wow. That is very, very neat. Neato, neato burrito. Look at that. Holy cow. Wow. Um, a little off-center. Not bad. All right. We got our first hit, and it's a big one. Boom. Right out of the gates. Pack number one in box number two. Yeah, you think you're going to get about one per build and battle box. Pan Sage, Wooloo, it's a cute Wooloo. Pan Champ's cute. There's just so many cards. But yeah, that's why I was thinking maybe we build a master set. Let me know in the comment section down below. It's not going to be a ton of openings. I'll open up a lot of stuff off camera too. Like I said, for some reason, I opened up a case of building battle boxes the other day. And my sixth pack in, uh, I decided to pull the Alternate Art Espeon VMAX. I posted it up on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, Grimmsnarl Hollow. Uh, go follow me, Danny.Phantom. Like I said, this quick ball is really cool. I like that a lot. And it's a playable card, which makes it even better. Uh, but I posted that up yesterday. I also pulled the alternate art Mew VMAX in the same build and battle case. I should have saved that one to open up, but instead, sometimes that's just how it works, you know? All right, we've got a Kufant Impidimp with 284 cards in the master set. Just that one ultra rare. Uh, it would be nice to just kind of pull everything for somebody. You know, organize it all out in a binder, lay it all out the way that I like to lay it out with the regular card followed by the reverse card and then just kind of give it away. And we'll figure out, maybe we'll do that after the celebrations giveaway. We'll open up some product, maybe some ETBs or some three pack blisters or some sleeve boosters or something like that. And we'll just work on filling up the master set. And I'll give you guys kind of an update every now and then of how it's going and we'll get it filled out before Christmas and then somebody who's kind of maybe taking their time on Fusion Strike or focusing more on older sets like Evolving Skies which came out two months ago uh, or Battle Styles or Chilling Rain or whatever the case may be this is kind of like a nice little bonus for Christmas because they get or for the holidays because they get everything all filled out figured out right away. Uh, so let me know what you think of that idea. Battle VIP Pass and the Code Card. Ooh, we just got one hit, but at least it's a good one. It would be nice to pull some alternate arts. The way, the reason I like and I enjoy opening up some of these um, build and battle cases or build and battle boxes is pretty much just because uh, it's random. 
Like when you open up a booster box, you know for the most part you're probably going to get between six and eight hits. Only one of them is going to be a secret rare if you're lucky. Uh, and the off chance you might get two secret rares, but you're never going to get more than that. A build and battle case is super random. You could get four secret rares in a build and battle case. Uh, a booster box, you're going to get like four or five regular art Vs. You'll get a VMAX, you'll get a full art, and then you might get a full art trainer or a secret rare of some sorts. And that's pretty much it. You know, that's why a lot of people are like, well, I'd rather take my chances and open up, uh, you know, $100 worth of three pack, three pack blisters or $100 worth of sleeve boosters because there's a little bit more of like uh, just more fun feeling. Greeting VMAX, nice. Uh, I guess I don't know if I don't know how to word it. If it's I guess you could call it gambling if you want to call it gambling. More of that that chase feeling. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm talking about. But you're not guaranteed anything. And I know Pokemon will say, hey, you're not guaranteed anything in a booster box. But we've done pull rate videos. We've looked over pulls. And for the most part, while some boxes are going to be bad and some boxes are going to be outstanding, for the most part, on average, there's an average for a reason. And that kind of is what flies in the middle, is that you're going to get, you know, six to seven, maybe eight ultra rares i have pulled all three of the pre-release promos that i could remember and i am not pulling the one that i have forgotten unfortunately i'm gonna see it and just kind of hit myself in the head all right moving on i think we're on number four now box number four meowth onyx choodle shroomish klefki so many cards. hey reverse danny phantom nice ah rillaboom v I was thinking about this the other day. I was also thinking about doing a top 10 list of ultra rares that should be included in the future. Uh, and it's not that I'm upset about pulling a Rillaboom V or a Lucario V or a Bolton V or Cinderace or whatever. Uh, I am just like, well, we already had those ultra rares uh, a couple of times, actually. So why am I pulling them all again when there's other really cool cards that haven't been... Uh, printed Gorbis, uh, Sligu, Clawitzer. Like, I'm really excited about Chandelure. I love Chandelure. I, I do like Gengar, so I'm excited for that. And I do enjoy all three of the the final evolutions of Sword and Shield. Like, I do like Cinderace. I like Rillaboom. I like Inteleon. But we've already had them multiple times as Ultra Rares. So the idea of having them again in an already massive set. Look at that hollow Dragapult. Very cool. A little dreepy over there. Um, while we've already we've already had them so many times, so why are we doing that again? And that's the case for multiple cards in this set. I love Tyranitar, but Tyranitar V has already happened, and recently, like it was just in what Chilling Chilling Rain Battle Styles. Um, we just had the alternate art in Battle Styles. We just had tins. We have tins. The second print run of those tins that just came out. Why is there another Tyranitar V in this set? Latias rare, nothing else, just that one Rillaboom V. We gotta catch up if we're gonna hit 10 hits. We're gonna have to play some catch up and we're gonna have to find a build and battle box that has multiple ultra rares in it. Maybe two or three, that would be nice. But let me know in the comments section down below what cards you think uh, are being left out. There's a lot of stuff that I'm making you comment apparently because I'm asking you for help on whether you think it's a good idea to give away a master set. Um, I don't know why anybody would think... Deoxys! Ah, oh, it's Deoxys, Danny. Come on, it even starts with a D. I don't know why anybody would think it's a bad idea to give away a master set for free, but... Uh, and then I'm asking you what... I just think it would be cool. Like, what 10 cards do you think should be ultra rares? Obviously, Primeape. Primeape deserves an ultra rare and has not had one. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of... Mantike would be a cool ultra rare. Ludicolo would be cool. But we're getting... Rillaboom V again, Rillaboom V Max, and Cinderace V Max, and Inteleon V Max, and those are great. I just we've already had them, so why are we doing this again? But Pokemon has done that before in the past, and with them being like the mascots for Sword and Shield, I can understand where they're coming from. I would just like to spice it up a little bit more. Pancham, Indeedy, we've got Growlithe. Look at that cute Growlithe. Growlithe is like an OG favorite. So so cute. Sligu, nothing great here. We're just striking out a little bit at a time. One pack at a time. We've got three hits. Ooh, this set, I have opened up, I think, four or five booster boxes so far. And for the most part, my first box was terrible. It was four regular Art Vs and one V Max. It was to the point where I was like, I don't know if I can open this set. This is not going well at all. This is already starting out bad. But then it got a little bit better, and I pulled 
Uh, between most of them have had eight so far. The other, I think three, I think I've opened four boxes. Three of them had eight hits, and that one that only had five. Growlithe, Stuffle. So you'll have to let me know how things are going for you guys. When it comes to pulls, obviously, just coming out today, this was a dud box. Oh, my goodness. We got a lot of catch-up work to do. We're going to save all the goodies for the end, hopefully. Uh, so you might not have opened up that much, and I know a lot of people are kind of skipping this set to prepare for Brilliant Stars, which I can't say that I blame you because Brilliant Stars looks absolutely incredible. Um, but there are a lot of really cool cards in the set. Like, obviously, you have the, the alternate art Gengar. There's some really cool full arts. I finally pulled, or I did pull the full art Chandelure before, which made me very, very excited. That was is my chase card for the set because I just love Chandelure. Uh, I have not pulled the alternate art Celebi yet. I still want to pull that because it looks absolutely gorgeous. The Guardian of the Forest looks really, really cool. Uh, but there's still a lot of cool cards in there that I want to pull yet. Phantom, so it's not a bad set by any means, but the problem is, is it's just so massive. It's kind of like this daunting feeling of trying to pull all the cards or accomplish a master set after just having Celebrations, after just having Evolving Skies, after just having Chilling Rain. And it's not like Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain were small sets by any means. They were big sets with a lot of ultras, a lot of alternate arts. So even though Celebrations was so small... I mean, it, it, those are a lot to get through. So then to go through those two and then have the biggest set of all time coming out, woo, we are just batting zero here. It's a lot to deal with. Double, spongy gloves, frost moth, and a code card. Code cards are um, not ultra rares, if, if you didn't know that. We need to pull some more ultra rares because we've only got three, and I don't know how many boxes we have left now, I think. This is maybe our sixth already. All right, we've got Dewpiter, Meowth, Onyx, Choodle. Oh, we're skipping over Shroomish. That's really rude. Basculin. Hey, Shauna, full art. Nice. Very, very cool. There's that Primeape, just not of the ultra rare status. All right, let's look over this Shauna. Shauna looks good. Beautiful card. Very, very cool that it's reprinted. Quality control still doesn't seem quite up to par. You can see it's off-center a little bit. It's uh, top is a little bit thicker than the bottom. It's, it's right is a little bit thicker than the left side. Uh, you can tell the centering's off a little bit. But from what I've seen so far, at least, opening up the booster box cases, it seems like they have fixed the issue that they've had with the dreaded Pokeball dust falling off all over the place inside the case so far. I have not opened up a ton of cases yet. Just what I needed to pretty much pack pre-orders and that was it. So we'll see how things go. Uh, but so far, so good. Marsh Stomp, Simisage, Sydney, and a code card. All right. We have four build and battle boxes left. That's it. This is it, guys. We have pulled four hits out of six. So we need to get six hits out of four. Just do the do it backwards, right? Um, we need a couple of these to have two two hits in them. I, I, I'm not going to say that average for this is about 10. Like I said, this is completely random. We've got an Auric Choreo promo in this one. I've always tried to figure out if there's a correlation between the promos. I'm just such a nerd sometimes. I try to figure out if there's a correlation between the promos uh, and the hits that you would get in that build and battle box. Like, I was having really bad luck opening up some build and battle boxes with Pukumuku. So I was like, oh, Pukumuku, that definitely, that's got to be it. That's the one you don't want to pull. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's nothing. That's just me being me being Danny Phantom and not being smart. Um, but we are, I mean, we're pretty much just striking out with every promo that we get right now. So it's cool that we've only, out of the four hits, at least three of them have been a little bit higher rarities. Uh, we've got the Full Art Shauna and the Alessa Sparkle Rainbow Rare, which is really cool. And then we've got the Greed and VMAX and the Rillaboom V. But we are uh, not doing too good. We needed to get two in this box, and we are struggling to get one right now. So we have two packs left. What do we got? 12, 14 packs left total? 14 packs. I mean, when you fit and you figure we're opening up 40 total packs, right? So you would think you're going to get 10 hits uh, because you're going to be getting 7.5 to 8, usually on average for a booster box. Onyx. Clay doll. Oh, yes! We are doing well with uh, full art trainers. <laughs> Holy cow. Dancer, Pukamuku, Eldegoss, and maybe that's why. Maybe we're just going to get some better hits. Less, less is more. Maybe that's the case. We are pulling some, some good rarity cards. 
Uh, still would like to get an alternate art though. Uh, Dancer, very, very cool. Oh, I forgot I wanted to look at this. Rainbow Rares, you have to, I, I don't know what people think. A lot of people are kind of getting sick of Rainbow Rares and I can understand why. Is this a mark on here? Oh, come on. And there's a little bit of a white, you can see that on there. That's unfortunate. I thought maybe that would be on the sleeve, but nope, it's on the actual card. Uh, but a lot of people are like, I wish they would do away with Rainbow Rares if they're going to do um, alternate arts. This is guaranteed to be a rare card, and I will tell you why if you do not know yet, because this is something that you will find out, which I was hoping they would change with the conversion to PTCG Live, but apparently uh, they have not. So your code cards, it used to be if it was a white code, it would be a hollow rare or better. If it is a white bordered code, it is a rare card. If it is a black bordered code, it is a hollow rare or better. And we will find a black bordered code, hopefully in this box, because <laughs> we have not pulled too many black border codes so far. Uh, and I will show you the difference, but actually I'll set that white code aside. But yeah, I was hoping that they would change it up. I understand that they want to make sure that the weights are variant all over the place because they don't want people weighing packs anymore. Um, We've got an Oricorio promo again. But uh, it just, it takes away the suspense. That's why I don't really like doing the pack trick, because I don't like knowing if I'm going to get a hit or not, just by looking at the code card. So if we look here, we know, all right, so this is the black code right here. So we know that this pack has um, a hollow rare or better compared to this pack, which just has a white border, which was a rare. All right, so let's see what hollow rare or better we get here. Klefki, Pansage, Wulu, Kapraja, and a Hollow Butterfree. Not an ultra rare. So we need to find a couple of boxes still that are going to have two hits in them. Hopefully this one will be one. If we're going to get to 10, that's what we need to happen. Otherwise, we got to get, I mean, if we're just going to keep getting, you know, another alternate art or an alternate art or maybe, a, I'm looking at the code cards, or maybe another rainbow rare, that would be great. Like I said, less might be more. Very excited about Judge coming back. That Arcanine rare is really cool. Arcanine needs, Arcanine, that's another card that needs an ultra rare. We had Arcanine EX way back in the day when it was the baby EX, but we haven't had Arcanine as an ultra rare for a very, very long time since then. And Arcanine is a lot, Arcanine is, I mean, a lot of people love Arcanine. So hopefully they come back with it. Meowth, the problem is, is that they're printing so many new Pokemon now than what they used to, so. They want to give ultra rares to a lot of, you know, what we what we see in Sword and Shield. You know, the newer Pokemon in Sword and Shield. All right, last pack. We have not gotten a hit in this one yet. Oh, boy. We are sitting at five. I am opening up all these build and battle boxes. So you don't have to, apparently, because the hit rates do not seem to be very good. That's Smurgle card, though. Really, really cool artwork. Carvana, Clampearl, Skipping Over More Peko, Simiseer, and an Absol Rare. Okay, we need a lot in these last two build and battle boxes we need a lot a lot because uh, we have five hits so we need one build and battle box to get three hits and the other one to get two i have had a build and battle box of fusion strike that has had three hits i opened up one build and battle box that had three hits so i do know it is possible but oh boy we are or choreo again my goodness we are setting ourselves up not for greatness right now, but that could all change. We could get a Mew alternate art and just be like, who cares how many hits are in this build and battle case because we just pulled this alternate art. All right, we've got Meryl, Helioptile, Wooloo, Gossiflure, Mudkip, Tynamo. Oh, it's going to be alternate art. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Holy buckets. That is beautiful. All right, who cares what's in this box, Danny? Come on. Just have a little bit of faith. Uh, you guys. You guys are so negative. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. That is just one beautiful looking card. Look at how cute that is. Wow. Let's see the back of it. It actually looks great. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, there might be a little bit right up. Uh, maybe that's just glare. It looks good. Wow. I was not expecting to actually, okay, there we go. It's a really good case. I mean, we pulled two rainbow, ra we've only pulled one regular V and we know this is gonna be a rare card, but I guess it'll be okay if we don't pull 10 
uh, 10 Ultras because boom. One other thing that I'm doing differently with this set release than what I've done in the past, and it'll just really depend on how much I get through and how busy I am. Uh, I am taking pictures <laughs> of the pulls from each box so I can record a video and kind of go through different boxes um, before pull rates so we can go over like, hey, this was the first box I opened. This one was really bad. This was the second box I opened. This one was pretty good. So you can get a, a feeling for what the average actually looks like rather than just a bunch of numbers. We'll go over numbers, uh, but I wanted to see if you guys want to look at like, uh, let's say I open up 60 boxes of this set to stack singles for stock singles for the storefront. Like you can get a look at each 60 boxes and what the hits look like. Um, that's an idea that I had, and that's what I started with. So uh, pay attention. Hopefully that'll come out. Voltorb, Pansage, Qfont, Glagar, Vulpix, and a Hollow Butterfree again. All right, so we need, in order to hit 10, which it's going to be a pipe dream, um, dream unfortunately, uh, we need to get all all hits in this last build and battle box. We need uh, not last pack magic. We need last box magic right now in order to get 10 hits. But I am not going to be... Uh, frustrated at all because overall as far as a rarity standpoint goes very very cool you're not going to open up uh, a booster box and get an alternate art and two secret rares that's probably and a full art trainer that's just not going to happen we got one one regular v just this lone rillaboom v so far and that's it we're ending it off with a pukamuku so hopefully <laughs> I know I said before that my luck with pukamuku building battle boxes was not good hopefully that changes and we can get at least well, we're not going to get a hit in this one. All right, so we're not getting 10. Uh, Onyx, Choodle, Shroomish, Klefki, Trubbish. This is a really cool-looking Trubbish. Like, can we just respect the artwork on this? It looks gorgeous. Dupiter, Meloetta, Frostmoth, Ninetales, and Togedemaru. Togedemaru is one of the funnest Pokemon names to say. All right, I'm gonna flip this around. I gotta stop showing off the code, the back of the codes. Sizzlepede, Stuffle, Sandy Gast, Plusle. Um, skipping two Vulpixes, one pack, and they're different. Ah, Vulpix. Gorbis, Fighting Energy, Simisage, Sydney, Battle VIP Pass, and the Coke Card. We got two packs left. All right, we are gonna go with. Uh, we're going to go with Bolton. We'll save Genesect for last and just hope that maybe a breakdancing Genesect is in there. Why not, right? All right, we've got Durant, Pansir, Minon, Baltoy, Galarian Corsola, Gliscor, and oh my goodness, Hollow Butterfree is just everywhere. <laughs> Psychic Energy, Phalanx, Simiseer, Crossiever, and a Code Card. I mean, I would still like to get one more Ultra. I understand that we've gotten done good work with the uh, Secret Rares, but... One more ultra. Will be, this has to be a sign. It's got a phantom at the beginning, right? That's got to be a sign that it's going to be good. Snorlax, Snom, Dreepy, Makuhita, Shinx. Oh, it's a green and bee. That is not oh, not bad by any means. Frostmoth, Simisir, and our code card. So we did hit some last pack magic. Didn't get a whole lot of hits, unfortunately, but we did get some really cool ones. This Celebi V obviously is going to be my favorite out of all of them because this is... Definitely one of the cards that I was really looking forward to pulling. So I'm very, very excited about this. We also pulled two Rainbow Rares, which is very exciting. Um, so not too bad. I mean, it wasn't, not, quantity wasn't there, but quality was there, which is which is good. Uh, I do want to say thank you guys to everybody for just taking the time. It's been 28, 29 minutes now since this video started. So thank you for taking the time to watch and listen to me talk. I ramble a lot, but I don't want you guys just staring at cards and not listening to anything. So... Uh, I guess that's just filler conversation. I hope that's okay. Guys, congratulations to Daddy Snorlax and the Poke Kid for winning. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can be entered to win that Dragapult and uh, the Dragapult pin box and the Pikachu V Union box. We are in week number six of our eight weeks of celebrations giveaways. Uh, so thank you so much for everything, guys. I really, really appreciate you. Until next time, peace.